We are a very, very small family-run bakery in the village of Capperquin in West Waterford. When you're making something in a small way, it is always better quality than when something gets bigger and bigger and bigger and you lose quality for volume. So quality, not quantity. We make barn bracks, we make yeast, white yeast bread, brown yeast bread, we make sourdoughs, we make Irish traditional soda breads. We make cakes, we make Christmas puddings, we make butter and seed loaves. So baking is a lovely occupation or way of making a living because it's very fulfilling because it's only as good as the passion you put into it when you're making it. So of course you just start off with good ingredients when you're making bread and the best quality that you can find using fresh uh, good ingredients. The other thing is the, our principles and values of leaving our money in our local town and that we've stayed small because it would have been much easier to have got bigger especially in the 80s and everybody were getting bigger and a lot of bakers have come and gone and we're still there and I think that's what makes us unique today it's part of what we are and of course the reason that we've survived is because our principles have come back to us what we give out in life comes back to us I think we support people and people have supported us of course you have to give a good quality product. You have to keep the thing right, but those type of values that we learned from our father, I think carries on. We make Irish soda bread with Irish wheat flour, and it's totally Irish wheat flour that we make the soda bread with. We can use 100% Irish wheat because it's very low in protein, and that's how we have a traditional Irish soda bread, which is made with buttermilk and soda. So we have a, you know, um, cream of tartar and bicarbonate of soda, and they're mixed, and that's the raising agent, whereas it is the wild yeast is the raising agent in the sourdough. The Scotch brick oven here, they take two to three hours to bring up to temperature to bake the first batch of bread. Then when the bread is ready after four hours coming in, they switch off the oven and they put load the oven, and it takes... 20 minutes for two men to put in about 160, 70 large 800 gram pan loaves into that. It's a lot of work in this world of today. So the bakers we have are passionate about what they do. They love their job because if they didn't, the proof of the pudding would be when they come out. The oven has to be right and that's only because you have your mind switched on. They're only as good as the man working them. The man working them has to use his head as well. So he can't come in and just turn on the oven and forget all about it. He has to listen to it. He talks to the oven, and the oven talks to him. Mm -hmm. <laughs>